Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Play Boom Beach, and in today's episode, we're going to bring you another one from the Quest to a Thousand Metal series. So, uh, looking at our base, we're going to be starting this video out at 697. We're going to try to get to 700 medals if we can in this video, um, which we should be able to do, I think. So, since last time, um, I'm not sure if we said this or not, but we got uh, level 15 mines. Our headquarters is now level 20, which is max level. Um, which has been a big goal we've been working towards. Um, we got the second shock launcher built, and we got the eighth gunboat, so or the eighth landing craft, which is it holds four more warriors, which is great for the extra damage output that they're going to be doing. Um, we're currently getting our radar to level 20. Our warriors are one level away from max level. Um, so let's get into the first battle. Okay, looking at this guy, he's got an anti-warrior base, but his mines are very low. They're only level 12, so I don't think they're going to be a problem. So we're going to hit this guy. I don't usually worry about loot anymore, really, just because I've got a resource production thing, and Dr. Terra lets me get almost any upgrade I want as long as I beat him, and I beat him every week now. Okay, so we're going to start by getting rid of some of these mines and possibly that machine gun? No. Okay, well, I think we're going to try that again because I should be able to get that with the right position barrage because that only had like a, one tick of health left. Okay, let's try that again. All right, so we're going to come in. We're going to get rid of, just like last time, we're going to get rid of those two boom mines and hopefully take out both of the machine guns and one flamethrower that's the goal so we'll see get rid of throw a second missile and we'll try to position this barrage right this time so we'll see how this goes and it worked perfect that's what we wanted to happen okay so now we're going to come in we're basically just going to eat all the mines because the warriors have enough health that a level 12 mine really shouldn't do that much damage to it, but we'll have to see. So we're going to fly to the first building, and we're going to try to run up in a straight line to the mortar, and then we're going to go right for the headquarters. Okay. Yeah, see, we're not losing. We're basically losing nothing. So now the next thing we have to do is we have to locate where his shock launchers are, and it only looks like he has one, which is always really good. So we're going to shock the one shock launcher, shock the boom cannon, the other ones, and hopefully those the machine guns are lower level. So as you can see, the, they don't have the full animation of being fully upgraded, so they shouldn't be that bad. Okay, let everything blow up. And see what we get. We get our two medals. That should bring us to 681, I believe. Yep. Okay. So let's take a look at the next person. We've hit a couple in between. Uh, I cleared up a bunch of NPC bases. So we're at 687. So we found this person. And this is the perfect base for warriors. Because the, there's no mines in the way, really. And the headquarters is really close to the beach. And it just took two missiles. We got just to even negate any damage, really. We could have realistically ran over them and still be fine. The other thing that I like to see with when I'm doing the warrior rush is when the shock launchers are really close to the headquarters. That way I can get a couple buildings with it that are going to affect it. So like if it's next to two machine guns and a flamethrower, so then you get a machine gun, a flamethrower, and the shock launcher. A smarter player, if they want an actual anti-warrior base, they're going to put it somewhere in the middle of their base. That way you have to waste waste um, a shock bomb on it and not get any of the buildings surrounding it. Oh, and look at this guy. He's got. That's why it took so long to go down. He has only ice statues. But still, yeah, so you either want to put, if you want an anti-warrior rush base, you want to put it in the top right-hand corner where they can't really drop a shock bomb, or you want to put it somewhere in the middle of your base so that they have to waste it not near your headquarters. So we'll take those two medals, and we'll go up to 689. And we're getting lots of resources now. 
So I hit, I hit, cleared up the rest of the NPC bases and I hit one more resource base and we're at 693, I think it was. Um, and just like this again, this is, this person doesn't know how to position their mines correctly because if you put your barrage right in the very center of the headquarters, you should get almost 90% of all of the mines. So we'll see. Uh, we probably got maybe 70% of them, but with two of those, two more missiles, we're not going to waste a lot of smoke getting to the back of the base, so we don't mind wasting a couple on missiles. So we're going to smoke right to the headquarters, and we want to look where his shock launchers are. we got one on the left, one on the right. And see, the one on the right is just like I talked about. You want to see I got the machine gun, the boom cannon, and all that stuff. Whereas the other one over there, like, yeah, you get the shock launcher. I mean, you get the grenade launcher, but you don't necessarily get a flamethrower or a machine gun, and that's what you really want to be getting when you're doing a warrior rush. All right, cool. So we'll let that all blow up, and we will see what we get. I didn't really look at how much resources this guy was going to give us. We're getting pretty close to cap on resources, though. Okay. Oh, he had quite a bit of gold, so we'll take that. That'll work towards their level 18 warriors anyways. Um, so we're at 695. Hmm. All right, guys, I think 695 is where we're going to leave it for this episode because I don't want it to drag out too long. Next episode, for sure, we will be getting to 700 medals. I should have max level warriors by then. But other than that, guys, stay tuned for more Defenseless Champion, more of the Defense Champion, more Quest to 1,000 medals. And for everything Boom Beach, check out the link in the description. And check out the rest of our videos, guys. Thanks. Peace.